Billy Porter mm. recently posted a sweet message to mark his husband's for to mark his husband's birthday. He shared some lovely photos, calling his husband Adam Smith his confidant and a fabulous dog dad. Smith explained to people, um, quote, it had been marinating with me, my love for him, and figuring it out and coming to terms with it over the years. So I knew that it was on me if I wanted to ever change anything. I would have to be the first one to approach the subject, end quote. The pair decided to get back together on Porter's 46th birthday. They married on January 14th, 2017. They were, they were keen to do so before Donald Trump was sworn into office. So is this too much? Do big grand shows of love scare you? Or are you happy with someone posting on social media their undying love for you um, after they've been with you for a short time. So is it go big or go home? What are we all talking about? What do you think? Did you see Billy Porter's post? I loved, I did, and I love Billy Porter, and I think he's super talented and like a, another trailblazer as well. But girl, don't, don't just like, I, no. Just I no. made the big, I made, I speak from Have personal. Have you done that or has somebody oh done it to you? Oh my God, this is us in Provincetown. And this is us here. This is us in matchy matchy outfits. And this is us like, and I love you. And here are our wedding rings. And then there's the, there's the fight. And then there's the split. And then there are the tears. And then there's like the sad songs on Facebook. And then people think you're bipolar. And then all of the pictures you put up on Instagram are gone. <laughs> so, you know. I would probably recommend, I'm sorry, we're not on a tangent. But no, 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 it's okay, because I felt it. All of a sudden, like, I saw the prom you pictures saw, you of you. You saw everything, like, right? You know, Did you go, yes, uh, the and, then, and then, and then the tears, and then, and then the songs, we, and, and then they listening ghost. to Adele. Yeah, oh, my know. God, like, so much. <laughs> Adele all day. And like Adele when she was bigger, oh not Adele when she's skinny. He, you understand? Was, he, he was packing his bags, and I was blasting Adele. <laughs> Wow. And then all of a sudden, but I'm saying, I don't think it's a good idea. I think like if you love each other and it's, you know, it's acute and it's subtle and it's and, new and it's, but like, I don't like, but putting like every single sort of like thing on your timeline mm -hmm. about what you're doing, like you, I would ask myself, why are you doing that? Why are you seeking validation? You know, I mean, mm -hmm. I get this all the time. Like social media is like my life because it's about my business. Of course. But like. And like it's people about, tag you on things because they want, they want people to see so that you're tagged it's in a valid, their it's, I get it. It's a validation thing. But, you know, um, when it's, but the intimate stuff, the genuine stuff, the real stuff, if you're blasting that out there, I don't, I, it doesn't sit right with me. How long before you should put on a post that you love someone? Oh, I don't think you should. I don't think it should matter. Like, I don't think it should matter that anybody knows that you love the person except when you're going to your family's house or, or your close you're, friends or, or your but like why does like why do all of these people need to know that you love this like ask you it's ask part, the question okay you're saying like why is it important to the person posting it like yeah. they need that validation they, it's kind of like okay oh well yeah i love this person i gotta let everybody but, know <laughs> but maybe they're trying to tell you that you know love wins maybe like we're like this is sort of like a gay functional relationship they work you know all of that stuff but it's real life yeah. and in real life like 80% of relationships <laughs> don't work. Don't work. So whether you're gay or you're straight. So I yeah. would just keep it like... Well, like, okay, I'm married now, so now I'm boring, right? But like, you know, when I wasn't married, like, okay, I, and I was dating people. Yeah. I'd never post pictures right. with people on there. Like, post, you know, post, post, like, friends. You guys married in the, mor in the morning when you guys are just waking up and your hair's not done and you're just sort of like, that's the picture you should post. <laughs> yeah, that's never going to happen. <laughs> That's never gonna happen, you're you like, know. Or like my my ex would like post recordings of me snoring because I'm a horrible snorer. So he would be like, "You want proof? There you go." Like shit, like that. You are <laughs> filming a reality show where you where you are living in a room with six other dudes yeah. and you snore like that. Do oh they my god, it was it was an interesting it was an interesting time. We'll talk more about that. Yes. All right. So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did, so make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.